Hello everyone, my name is Raiko, I'm uh, from Studio Heisenberg and uh, this is the first of hopefully many tutorials I'm planning to make in this year. In them I will cover a wide range of topics but they always subjected uh, on Corona Render and Cinema 4D or Unreal Engine ArcGIS. In between I will probably touch some Photoshop tips and will try to cover Substance Designer Painter as much as I can since I'm not advanced user. And in uh, this quick tip tutorial that will be free for everyone watching this, I will show you how to make some wooden floor materials and uh, realistic tiles or any similar materials with Substance Player, which is uh, free to download on uh, their site. Just type in Substance Player and you can download it. And uh, uh, I will render everything, as I said, in uh, Corona for Cinema 4D. Uh, but you can render it out in 3ds Max and V-Ray or anything. Okay, so let's get started inside the Substance Player. Uh, you can see uh, three main windows. Uh, the one is a preview for textures you're making. There's diffuse, specular, normal, bump, displacements, height, opacity and glossiness. You don't have to uh, make them all, I will explain later when we actually make some texture. Uh, below it there's a 3D view and uh, on the right side there are some parameters. You, I will uh, jump to them after the first step and which is uh, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it says drop a bitmap. So uh, we can go, I have a wood sample, just drag and drop it and you already see some uh, pocket looking already good but for photorealistic uh, rendering there is a lot of issues that we will solve in the uh, next few minutes. The first thing I uh, like to do is uh, uh, make output size bigger. It will not slow down much but you will see everything much more clearly and you can see the bevel is uh, pretty horrible now. It's too big and uh, I like to reduce uh, the viewing size uh, of uh, 2D texture viewer to 15 so we can see what's going on. Uh, the second thing I would like to make a herringbone, not a linear pocket. So after that uh, you see board's amount by X and Y. So it's okay to make, I don't know, like by three and uh, already looks nice. The next thing we uh, need to do is to decrease the bevel size and uh, as you can see uh, it's pretty big now so the ones I uh, use for particular project uh, the board bevel uh, by x-axis uh, I put at 0 0.005 and if we go to normal map we can see it looks okay and for the y it's 0 0.02 because we have less uh, boards amount on that axis and uh, you can see it gives us pretty good Look, uh, the thing uh, that maybe draws the attention is the next uh, thing is emboss intensity. So we can decrease it uh, to something like 0 0.01 and now we have less visible uh, bevel depth and if we go to even bigger resolution which will be the one we export is 4K. 
we can wait a little for generating at this high output size it could take and that's it you see how close we are and if we uh, zoom out a bit it looks pretty decent already so uh, going lower to the parameters you can see hue saturation luminosity height slope specularity and glossiness so uh, the thing i don't like here is the slope i always go to uh, zero so we, we will decrease now again uh, for faster workflow this uh, output size for 2k so we can work quicker and uh, we can make it point, uh, 0.1 just to have uh, small variations but uh, the default one are too big so this uh, looks much better next thing is uh, gloss and as you can see it's also a bit uh, dramatic so you can see there are uh, white and black and uh, most of the park I don't look like that uh, it's a small variation not big uh, big like this one so we go to glossiness and uh, we hire this input to I don't know, like 0 0.7 and already you can see it's looking a bit closer to reality you can lower it down if you want uh, more contrast let's see it, it's 50 percent uh, so this looks okay and uh, the three numbers you see for each of these uh, the lowest uh, uh, the maximum minimum and the balance so if you say put zero you see and uh, if you if you put one uh, they are black and white and uh, somewhere in between balance and if you put in balance one there will be white if you put zero there will be black so 0 0.5 is usually more than enough for this and we can go back to 0 0.6 and 0 0.7 and you can see or 0 0.8 it looks pretty much the same uh, just a bit more variation which can lead to more photorealism uh, for specularity also you can see a specular map uh, I won't go uh, too much into that I will put it 0 0.5 because in uh, PBR rendering the specular is uh, as you can see in uh, some tutorials for corona and other stuff the specularity is white for the most of the materials and uh, the glossiness uh, drive everything else so we won't uh, be doing much of specular map but you can make one just uh, again to add some photorealism uh, normal map uh, is here you can see the slope if you put it zero it uh, brings all all of the parts on the same uh, height and if you put uh, 0 0.1 it will exaggerate some of them which is okay also uh, we can make even less 0 0.05 just a uh, small small ones uh, so uh, next uh, thing we should go look at is saturation and you can go uh, small values so minimum is 0 0.5 and the uh, maximum go to 0 0.55 so you have there a bit of variation it's okay maybe just put uh, 0 0.45 and 0 0.5 and now look okay 
and also for luminosity you can put uh, 45 to have a little more variated look and maybe 0 0.46 and as you can see it becomes much more realistic uh, you don't have to watch uh, too much for the version on 3d this is just a full preview not uh, realistic so better pay attention to the 2d texture view where you can see how it uh, it will actually look inside other parameters are pretty much self-explanatory so gap uh, you can use to make some gaps in between uh, we're not using it for now we don't need it offset also you can offset it uh, there is also a randomization so you can randomize everything until you get what you want uh, the other thing we can take a look is texture scale so you can scale the texture I usually uh, leave it one but uh, if you have a big texture as an input you probably would like to uh, turn down the scale and you can decrease the normal intensity and you can see we go to 200 it's maybe too big so like uh, half of it and that's all emboss angle uh, you want to put it to 0 0.125 if we go to 0 0.5 uh, there's just a changing of the angle of the emboss the default one is okay and that's pretty much all the next thing you would like to do is again go to 4k texture uh, wait a bit and done so you can take a closer look it looks okay with uh, I must uh, say again with just one uh, not that big resolution uh, 2k uh, wood sample uh, so the next thing will be export as bitmap you can go to any folder you like can browse and put it uh, new market select that folder you can choose a format a pattern name and all outputs as I said we will use the diffuse normal height and gloss for this uh, no need for others because we'll use it in corona we can make specular but uh, we will just use it white plain white and go export and it will uh, render the outputs uh, it goes pretty quick and uh, in a few seconds it's done so you can close that window go to substance player wood and you park it so if we open up cinema 40 and we can go to new park it we can you choose diffuse reflection as a gloss map bump will use a normal map And displacement we go to height and uh, we can decrease the size by double it and make fast preview I have already rendered 
one of my tries, uh, you can see it looks really, really realistic. And uh, that's all. All you need to know. Uh, you can find this scene inside my Patreon page. So it's uh, inferior. But I will uh, cover inside of uh, my inferior tutorial for Corona Cinema 4D. And uh, the next step will be to add some dust and stretches for this uh, wood floor and uh, to add even more realistic look and uh, you can find it all in updated scene for patrior interior tutorial uh, the other thing you can do with this is uh, to make any other uh, material you would like to use like uh, we'll make a scene that is uh, uh, clear and uh, put some marble in it and you can see the program did this magic and you can go the same amount like two and two or bigger a bit five by five and uh, decrease the slope five and uh, you can see some scenes you can uh, decrease it by resizing the texture and uh, randomizing until you have the result you wanted but if you use uh, seamless materials and uh, textures you won't have these issues this is just a quick preview uh, so you can make any material of this type easily with free substance flare and use it in corona for cinema 4d thank you guys for watching uh, this is my first as i said tutorial uh, so you can go and check out some other goodies i have on my patreon page i have also uploaded the pool scene for ten dollars plus uh, Patreons, and you can see this scene from uh, uh, this tutorial. I will upload a texture, wooden texture, that we use here also there for free. So you can play with it and also we'll upload the SBSAR file uh, for playing. So you have a starting point in case you get lost that's all